Welcome to Eight Flips. Shielding. You can shield the center drain by raising and dropping the flippers depending on the ball's position. If the ball is coming from an angle, you can reduce the center gap by holding up one flipper. Be aware that closing the gap on one side will open it on the other. That's why you should only raise the flippers when it's necessary and let them drop again afterwards. You can achieve the greatest flipper's reach when the flipper is at right angles to the angle of incidence of the ball. Consider the circular motion of the flippers in order to max out your reach, a skill which evolves with experience after seeing thousands of balls training. Flipper management. If the ball heads towards the flippers, there are many control techniques you can use, like dead bounces, dropping live catches or nudge passes, explained in my other tutorials. But what do you do if the ball is coming in higher at the in-lane area? Here are some examples of what can happen. To avoid the center drain, simply raise the flipper and wait for the ball to settle. Most of the time it will bounce off to the opposite flipper, where you can get back in ball control. If the ball is coming in even higher and triggering the slingshot, the increased ball speed makes it much harder to anticipate the ball. Raise the flipper and wait until the ball has crossed the center line. Now raise the second flipper while dropping the first again. It's important to wait for the ball to cross the center line, so it might not open the door for unexpected or misread rebounding balls. Dead sling. Normally you would expect the slings to fire if the ball makes contact. But sometimes, especially on balls coming from a steeper angle, the switch might not be triggered, causing the ball to roll down the middle. Don't get caught off guard and raise the flipper. Lower sling post. Whenever you are going to shoot up the in-lane, raise your second flipper preemptively right after your shot. The possible rebound of the lower sling post can result in a drain and it's too fast to react on. It doesn't matter if you're doing alley passes or just want to park the ball in the in-lane as a safety response. Always raise the second flipper. Various examples. Here I didn't raise the second flipper and paid the price. Now I raised the second flipper, but didn't drop it soon enough. Here everything was executed well. In this situation I was too slow with dropping my second flipper. Here I raised the right flipper for protection, but as I realized I couldn't reach the ball, I dropped it so that the ball wouldn't get caught beneath it. After the following shot I raised the right flipper again to shield the center drain. Most of these moves were executed automated, so don't get discouraged by the complexity. Multiball play is the ultimate discipline in pinball, since you have to anticipate more than one ball with chaotic factors coming into play. With practice and discernment you can implement your acquired techniques piece by piece. Experiencing how those techniques suddenly flow into each other and seeing everything falling into place is one of the best experiences I've had in pinball. So enjoy the journey and keep an eye out for those valuable moments. A special thanks goes out to the members of the Tilt Forum for sharing their experience. Thank you!